Hi Virgo, welcome to your mid-October general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Virgo. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Virgo. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Virgo and cross watchers that energy is fluid and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. Alright Virgo, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear and set the energy for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and see what is going on in your love life from now to the end of the month going into November. And for this reading, I am tuning into an energy that's in or around your psychic field of someone that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you right now in this very moment. Whether you are single or you're taken, whether you're in a connection with someone currently or in separation with this energy, let's see what energy is coming through for you and why. So tell me about the energy surrounding Virgo spirit right now that wants to make its way to Virgo's reading. Okay, well, first we have true love. And it says, this is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. For some of you guys, I feel like there's someone that looks back on what you two have had and said that was the best. Like, that was my true love. I don't know why I feel the need to say past tense, though. It could just be something they've told you recently that I've, I'm like, you were the one for me. You've always been the one for me. Um, Someone feels like they want to get really real with you, Virgo. Wow, uh, tell me more. Someone could have like a finger tattoo, I'm seeing, or like a birthmark on the hand or a finger. But tell me more about this energy for Virgo. What's surrounding Virgo? Wow, okay. Then we have give your relationship a chance and flirt. Ooh, that's why I kind of felt past energy. Now, this doesn't have to be past, but it could be like someone that you've already met connected with. But with this flirt energy, Virgo, I feel like someone new has stirred up your feelings. Someone at work. I feel for some of you guys, or this is like someone you've just met in a friend group out at a party and you guys have had a connection. Okay. And then unrequited love at the bottom of the deck. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Ooh, there may be some drama in your love life happening, may soon to happen. Um, okay, so yeah, there's. I do feel like someone who's deeply in love with you, Virgo, that you've known for quite some time, you've had an on and off thing with, or just like it's been kind of rocky recently between the two of you, but they still want you to give this a chance, a shot. They feel like this could work, but you're curious about someone else. Or maybe Virgo, it could be the person you're dealing with that is in this true love thing. I'll just be real. You'll know your situation specifically, but for a lot of you, yeah, there's someone who's been flirting with you, Virgo, someone who's been making moves towards you very subtly, I wonder if even if this person kissed you very recently and uh, that has been on your mind for a bit and maybe you kind of turned them down or rejected them, but you still think about that kiss. I do have to say with unrequited love here, there is someone who is kind of, the fire is kind of dying between you and someone else and starting to be re-sparked with a new person. 
that's how you may feel, that's what you're starting to understand, or you're afraid that's what someone else feels towards you. And if you want to know why someone may have stopped talking to you, has been avoiding you, there may have been someone new coming their way. Someone has, um, I'm just going to say it, <laughs> someone may have a very nice uh, assets, boobs. Um, this newer person or the person that you're starting to fall for, okay, throw it out. If it's not your message, don't worry about it. But let's go ahead and tell me more about this energy. This is something you guys need to know. For those of you who are in this predicament, we need to get to the bottom of this. Confusion. Puzzled, unsettled, and unclear with one day, someday, somewhere, another time. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, someone's getting confused because they're in love or starting to have feelings for, let's just say, for different people. With this one day, though, like, I do feel someone's really hurt thinking that the person that they're in love with is about to be with someone else or is moving on to someone else. And, yeah, someone's a little bit really upset here, very hurt, has cried recently over you, Virgo, or you've cried over them because they feel like you guys were meant to make something happen here. And they really want this to work. If you guys are even open to the idea or they're trying to get you to like hear them out, they, they don't feel like this is supposed to be the end between the two of you. Even if feelings are starting to happen for you with someone else. I wonder if they found out like you have an attraction towards them. I wonder if they found like some text messages or you found some text messages that were like not inappropriate per se, but definitely flirty or like a little too friendly. And I'm seeing like a wink or like a smile that was like, uh-uh, there's something wrong with this here. I'm seeing the letter J and C. So Justin, Jessica, Chris, Christina, first, middle, last, initial may mean something to someone. But let's get right on into it and see which energy is coming the most forward here because I definitely feel multiple energies. So with this, I'm going to ask how do they feel about you right now? What do they think of you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you, Virgo? What are they really hoping is going to happen and unfold between the two of you? And what are they afraid of? Yeah. So far, very strong Cancer energy. You could have strong cancer in your chart. You could be dealing with a cancer. It does not have to be the case. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, someone's worried sick. It's been keeping them up at night. They've been checking their phone. They've been seeing if you were to call back. They see if, like... On your story you're posting with anyone else. They're trying to look through your social media and see if you've been interacting with anyone else. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the star card. Aquarius energy. Some of you could be dealing with Aquarius or someone has strong Aquarius in their chart. But I feel, yeah, this one-of-a-kind energy here. I do feel that even for some of you guys, like with this newer energy, there's been a spark there that you haven't felt with this older energy. And that's making someone feel like the grass is greener on a different side. And I feel with the star card energy too that like this energy that is trying to hold on to the relationship or the connection that came before this flirtation, they're, they're desperate. They don't want to lose this. They feel like this is something that they're never going to find again. And they still feel there's divine purpose between the two of you meeting that needs to be worked out, that needs, that like they just feel like there's destiny between the two of you that some sort of third party could not destroy. Now someone could have like a strong social media following presence, can have some sort of, uh, you know, entertainment business background or trying to make it into the entertainment business. I'm even seeing someone that had something go viral, like a post go viral. 
obviously that's not for everyone but yeah they I do feel Virgo regardless you carry this unique energy people when they meet you and talk about you they feel like very rare energy eccentric energy one that's hard to come by one that's hard to replace for sure someone could even be from LA or live in Los Angeles right now I just saw the Dodgers um, LA symbol so it's not for everyone but let's get into it how they feel about you right now is two of cups in reverse cancer energy so there's someone here that feels like someone's falling out of love someone isn't as connected someone's become emotionally distant emotionally unavailable and they're a little bit heartbroken because now they feel like the love is unrequited or it has been or they're worried about you not having feelings anymore and it's taken them down this like emotional whirlpool I mean, my goodness, we even have the Nine of Swords here. They're confused. And maybe that's why they've been extra on your social media to see if there's any answers you haven't told them as to why you've become distant. They feel the shift. They feel the vibe. And it's not like even that you're avoiding them. It's just that you they are worried that you've kind of pulled away completely. And I gotta say, Virgo, if this is like, if this is the person you're in love with currently, um, yeah, I think they may have started to have something with someone else that they don't feel like they have with you anymore. What they think about you, think about this connection is the chariot. Cancer energy, Sagittarius energy for me as a reader personally. So if this is, you know, the person who wants to keep you around Virgo, they've made it known, they made it clear, if this is the story. Um, they feel like they have to get going on their plans, that they have to keep trying. They have to be direct. This is someone that um, drives by your house quite a bit. I am even hearing, like, honking, like, when they... When they're like outside of your house or they come to pick you up, they just kind of honk to let you know they're outside. Or have honked at you before seeing you in public or something like that. But yeah, they feel like they have to set something in motion and they have to act quickly. Now, for others of you, um, I kind of feel with this flirt vibe, the flirter is very direct. The flirter waste no time in letting people know when they're interested and I think that's such a strong force that's being sent your way Virgo it's hard to deny it's hard to ignore and they keep going at it even if you've kind of been like trying to sidestep because you're in a connection or in a relationship it's hard to avoid it because it's sexy the way you feel how forward they are in wanting to have something with you And they're very passionate too. And someone has a really nice car. Like it could be like a BMW, a Mercedes, or they like fix up their car to something where it's like an old school ride, but they made it brand new with all these new modifications and stuff to it. Turbo speed is what I'm hearing for someone. What they like the most about you is the Eight of Cups. Pisces energy. Some of you could have a Pisces rising or Pisces moon. So with this Eight of Cups, I feel like you give people their distance. You don't try very hard. You're not emotionally clingy, which is something someone liked at first, perhaps. You are someone that um, is very sensitive, though. Like, Sensitive to your environment, sensitive to smells, touches, like you can't stand like an itchy sweater if it's on you, like it just you are avoidant of things that could infringe on your boundaries and someone always thought of you as kind of like independent for that or like a lone wolf for that. You don't like to follow the crowd, you don't like to conform, you don't like to just... It makes you cringe to think that like if you are just like everyone else. You like to stand out in some way and you like to do your own thing. 
And that's something that everyone I feel like notices about you, Virgo. Is the path that you go is your own. You march to the beat of your own drum, period. What they don't like about you is three of pentacles. Capricorn energy. So if this is the person that you were in a relationship or connection with previously, um, and they know about someone at work that may have feelings for you, like you, from their own investigation or what you've told them, they don't like it when you go to work. They don't like it when you have to be around this person at work, if it is at work, or even collaborating with, with this person, even hanging out with this person, if it's just the friend group. They don't like that you keep that person around. It makes them jealous. It makes them mad. It makes them feel like you are, that's what's part of like the disconnection going on. I feel with this Three of Pentacles vibe too for what they don't like about you. Um, for some, you bring your friends and family members into your love life. You tell them what's going on, what's happening, and they may not like about that, especially if now people know there's a third party situation possibly going on. They may think that you like blow them off to hang out with your friends a bit or at times. Hmm. I also kind of feel for some of you guys lately like you've been using work as an excuse to not hang out as much or that you guys have been really busy and they don't like how busy you've been at work. Especially some of you guys work for like a magazine or a journalist type of company or marketing company. I kind of want to clarify this Three of Pentacles to get deeper into this. Why is this Three of Pentacles here for Virgo? What they don't like about Virgo? The Fool card. Aries energy, Aquarius energy. Okay, for some they feel like you're playing them. They feel like you're taking them for a fool where you're saying we're just friends, we're just working. They sense and vibe there's something more to it. Damn. Bottom of the deck, we have five of cups. Scorpio energy. Yeah, they feel like you're choosing to hang around this newer energy than them lately. And they feel like you haven't been as caring or compassionate towards them as you were maybe before. Again, this could all be reverse, or it could just be someone's perspective, not even what you're trying to do, okay? Whether it's true or not, this is what, I'm just the messenger. <laughs> but with this Five of Cups, yeah, that like you ditch them for this person, in a sense. Or maybe even like something happened on a work trip that they found out about or that you told them about. That's still, they're not over. Even if they say they are, they're lying. What they like the most about this connection is the hangman. Pisces energy. You know, I kind of feel like this is that newer energy. They will take the time. They feel like even if you haven't responded in the way yet, they think they have you in the bag or that they're getting you to be more curious about the newer energy. It's starting to make you think a different option than who you've been with. They think they've been starting to change your mind in some way, make you see things in a new way, in a new perspective. And for some, like maybe they're aware that you and this past person are on a break. And now they get to spend more time with you because of that break. But I feel with this hangman, um, they think this older connection, let's just say, um, still thinks there's room for changing your mind, that you haven't made a final decision yet. And even if you've been disconnecting emotionally, there's a way that they can reverse that, even if it takes time. They're hoping even that this whole phase between the two of you is just temporary, the confusion or maybe the curiosity of other people that it's not going to last. It's just something you're going through right now.
What they don't like about this connection is temperance. Very interesting for the hangman and now temperance. Very similar cards, but different in a lot of ways. Um, Sagittarius energy, Libra energy for me as a reader. <sighs> yeah, uh, if this is like that older energy, like temperance could kind of mean like moderation, right? That if there was a lot of emotions you showed before passion, um, you haven't been showing it really. It's like the passion has kind of died down in a sense. You guys particularly haven't had as much sex and they wonder about that. They wonder if they still turn you on or that you're still attracted to them and it makes them worried or feel a little bit insecure. Now with temperance, there could be someone that has been drinking a bit or going out a lot more and the other person doesn't like it when you go out and drink without them. And I wonder too, like, if this older energy is realizing there's a newer energy coming in, like, they're afraid that you haven't been holding yourself back, that you've been giving a little bit into the temptation, if there is any. Highest hopes is the Nine of Swords. Gemini energy. That all their thoughts worries, stresses about this connection are just going to be proven unfounded, that they're going to go away, that they're worrying for nothing, that everything will go back to normal, that you will communicate the things they need to hear so they can stop worrying about it. And I wonder for someone here, whoever is the person that has two options in front of them, there could be a little bit of guilt on someone's end, on someone's side. Just a little bit, right? Of course, because you don't want to hurt anyone. You don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. So someone is kind of struggling with the choice that they may have around who to go with and why to go with them. But they want some sign to be made clear to them so they can make the right decision. And they're hoping that sign will come through so they can stop worrying or feeling guilty about it. Deepest fears is the Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Someone is done trying to put the work in, the effort in. If it's the newer energy, they're afraid everything they've been trying to do just was a failure in itself. And for older energy, yeah, everything you guys have gone through, been through, it would mean for nothing. And I do feel... Virgo, there's an awareness some of you have if you are the ones that are in the position of making this decision. You don't want to be the person that carries this guilt or resentment anymore. And that's what you kind of want to lay down, but you're afraid of hurting someone by doing that. Someone's been having bad back problems. And that's been causing a lot of issues in someone's life. But I feel with this Ten of Wands, yeah, someone's afraid of that you're giving up, Virgo. That it's just been too much and you're ready to let it all go. All right, Virgo. To see the likely outcome of this situation, what is likely to happen and unfold, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome of this. Pull some more tarot and oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this. So if you still have questions, let's get those answered now in the extended reading. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Virgo... I really hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope it at least gave you confirmation, clarity, insight, healing, guidance in regards to whatever is going on in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Virgo, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Virgo.